my friends, it's Star Thrifter, and uh, this is regards to the 2024 uh, spring update for eBay. And um, if you um, haven't read your notice, uh, you can look through your um, like your emails from eBay, and there should be something there. If not, you could Google it and just Google you know eBay spring update 2024, and that way you could get more detail. But I just thought I'd highlight a few of the things. And uh, the first one is that now, supposedly, you know, when you have items saved on your drafts, they're supposed to stay there for 75 days. And I, from my understanding, is even if you have one there and you go and update it and then, you know, it's saved in the drafts again, then that kind of counts as new again. But anyway, 75 days, that's a great thing. And um, the next one is in regards to oh, a paper here. The next one, supposedly, you know how um, on like a, the phone app and things like that, and probably from the desktop too, your 90-day total is supposed to only be the sales now, not like the shipping included from my understanding. Unless they mean it's not the, you know, the taxes and things like that. But from my understanding, it's not supposed to include the shipping anymore. I don't know how accurate that is. But if that is the case, that would be um, a benefit too. Because it gives you more of an accurate amount, um, you know, as to your what your totals are for the 90 day. The next one is feedback. I really was not happy about this one. It's going to bring up the most relevant and what eBay feels relevant is if somebody had a negative lately, it's going to go to the top, even if it was three months ago. And, you know, I really don't think that's the best feature, you know, to go with it. Fortunately, I have pretty great feedback. I rarely get a negative. There's, I have one on there and it's over, it's like 12 months old. It should be falling off because from my understanding, they're supposed to fall off for after 12 months. And it was a lady stating, um, I think this is the one, um, that the sleeves were too short on a jacket. They weren't. It was a plus size jacket and part of the sleeve came down on the arm and then the, you know, the seam went from there. It was the way that it was made. Plus size women clothing can kind of do this. And I did measurements and everything. And um, anyways, um, she could have returned it. It was a beautiful jacket um, and um, like a, it wasn't a puffer, but it was like a wintery jacket. She never returned it or anything like that. She probably put it on and it fit great. But anyhow, I think, I don't know if I sent a feedback revision on that one or not. Once in a while, somebody will, um, you know, correct that. A lot of times they don't. But anyhow, that's one of the part of the summer update. Another one is supposedly they're supposed to continue to increase um, reducing any unpaid items in this is affecting most sellers, it seems like, because when we send out offers, even if you have immediate payment on your listing, when you send out offers that didn't apply, and then you send out an offer, they accept it, then they don't, you know, they were having to pay right away. Supposedly, they're supposed to be putting a feature up to where, in order for them to, you know, the offer to be accepted, they have to pay right then. If that's the case, it's great. I will state that the unpaid um, items, um, the ones that I've had with my account, has greatly reduced since they started working on this. Uh, I used to have a lot of them, and now it's it's pretty rare. I think I had one recently, and that was unusual. Sometimes a couple of them are, are taking a day or two, you know, to pay, but most, it's really reduced. The next one is... It's a fee change, and it's in regards to any order that's over $10, there'll be um, a $0.10 cent increase on the fee uh, um, charge. If it was, you know, $0.30 cents before, it's going to go to $0.40. Cents. This is anything that sells for over $10. That's my understanding. If it's under $10, it stays the same. Anyhow, I just thought that I would go over um, a few of the um, updates on that. And, uh, and, and like I stated, if you'd like, you can, you know, Google it or whatever, and you can really read the detail and things like that. And this is just, you know, from my understanding and what I've heard or, you know, read about uh, regards to it. Anyhow, hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you'd like, you can subscribe. And if you could push the thumbs up button, I'd greatly appreciate that too. Thank you.